What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today I'll be going over how to access your macro from any workbook. So let's get into it. All right, on the left, I've got my code typed up. What this code does is it um, presents the user with a message box that shows um, their tabs listed with their corresponding data sizes. So let me run it for you. And you see here we have each of the worksheet names, countries, cities, and stocks with their corresponding data sizes. And what we want to do is allow this macro to be ran in any workbook that we open, not just this one. And the code will be in the description box. All right, so what you want to do is make sure you have your uh, developer tab. And you see I don't have it up here. So what you'll do if you don't have it is you'll go here to the top and then you'll go to more commands. You'll go to Customize Ribbon, and then you'll toggle Developer. So now you'll see I have the Developer tab here. And what we're going to do is record a macro, but we're not going to actually do anything. We're just going to record it, and you'll see why in a second. So now when you get the option to record, it'll say Store Macro In. You want to store it in a personal macro workbook. So you don't want to do new, new workbook or this workbook. You want to do personal mac, macro workbook. You hit OK. And you'll see that personal.xlsb just populated over here. So now we'll stop the recording. And you'll see in your modules under your personal.xlsb, you'll have the recorded macro that's blank. And what we want to do now is copy this macro into our personal macro workbook. And you can put any number of macros you want in here. So we'll paste that. And now we'll go ahead and save. Save the original file. And we'll close out of that. So now um, what we'll do is we'll open up another file. So this this is an XLSX. It's not even a macro enabled file. But we'll go ahead and open it and see if we can see um, the data size of our tab. So if I do that, I'll click the developer tab at the top, macros, and you see our personal.xlsb uh, macro, the worksheet sizes with message box um, subroutine. We can run that, and you'll see I get my message box with the sheet name and the data size. So we can continue to do that. Let's go with this one, and this is a macro enabled file. This has multiple tabs. Go to developer macros we'll choose our macro here run it and we've got all of our tab names and their corresponding data sizes and then one more this is actually a CSV developer macros and then we run it and it works NASDAQ stocks, 18 kilobytes. So yeah, that's all I have for today. It was a quick one, um, really convenient. You can build a whole collection, have all your macros stored in one place if you want. Um, really useful tool. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.